Hello and welcome to The Generational Gamer. This week marks the 100th anniversary of the tragic sailing of the RMS Titanic, the supposedly unsinkable luxury liner that struck an iceberg and sank during its maiden voyage in 1912. Titanic was called the ship of dreams. Bullshit! I don't see what all the fuss is about. You could be blasé about some things, Rose, but not about Titanic. So this is the ship they say is unsinkable. It sure. is unsinkable. Sure. God himself could not sink sure. this ship. Where you can believe Mr. Becker. You know, this is unlike any video I've ever done before. It's a topic I'm very much interested in, but a game that I could give or take. I've been interested in 20th century ships for decades. When I was a kid, the long lost Titanic was located two and a half miles below the frozen Atlantic surface. I was anywhere between seven and nine. In my teens, I began researching old vessels, particularly those that were shipwrecked. Don't worry, I researched other things too. Like any other teenage boy, I looked at women on the internet. Dial up internet. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. By the way, DOA didn't exist yet. So back to Titanic and why I was interested in this game. In college, I did a report on Titanic. By this time, the movie by James Cameron was released, which I referenced here. In truth, there have been many Titanic movies since the 1950s. In fact, there was a book, A Night to Remember, which there was also a movie based. But this was the first movie that showed that the ship split in two. I was so fascinated with shipwrecks at this point, I spent a great deal of time reading about them from the late 1800s to the 1960s. After that, ships generally look like the ones you see today. They don't have the same grace that the late 19th and early 20th century ships did. I even bought a Windows 95 98 game that, although I didn't play the actual game because it sucked, it did contain an element that allowed player to navigate a nearly complete digital replication of the ship, and I used that for a presentation in college. Since then, I've generally played Titanic-based games here and there. The Wii has several. I have one of them. In a recent video of Neptunia, I mentioned a reference to a story one of the girls told. She was talking about going on a cruise, but fearing that it might hit an iceberg. Ironically, after making the video of this title and streaming, links in the description, I see this. Titanic Mystery by Ocean Media LLC. How ironic is the public? by the way. Probably not that much. So how about we take a look at the game. It's based on a Titanic 2, which there is also a really crappy movie on, but the Queen Mary fills in for it. Anyway, back to the story. Because the great ship had been equipped with less than half the number of lifeboats it needed, over 1,500 passengers lost their lives. The anniversary is being commemorated by the launching of the Titanic II, a replica of the original cruise ship which at its time of unveiling was considered the pinnacle of luxury and opulence. The new ship, while harking back to that bygone era, has been updated to reflect the advancements in shipbuilding technology since then. Titanic II will sail along the same route across the Atlantic Ocean, completing the journey that was begun 100 years before. The operators of the luxury vessel have gone to great lengths to track down descendants of the original passengers of the ill-fated Titanic, and have invited a number of them to be special guests aboard this maiden voyage. For GNN News, this is Rachel Smythe reporting. So the first thing I noticed was that on the enter name screen there is no indication that you need to use the right analog stick to move the little dagger to done. After screwing with it I eventually found it. Once you get into options it'll tell you what you need to do. I think this is probably a port from like an iOS or something and then placed on the switch. This is a puzzle game first and foremost and you will see that in just a moment. Finally. For all my bitching, I really do like the soundtrack, and the visuals are nice as well. Here are some unlockables that have not been unlocked. I like how it gives you a story right up front. Let's see what's going on. Chatty bunch, aren't they? Oh. 
And this is where I lost interest. Because all you're doing is really just picking things up. It's like, alright, great. There are some different style puzzles in the game. I get that. This just isn't for me. And tell me that this does not look like something you should have a mouse for. A hint! So, you've basically seen the game now. I'm just going to go ahead and say, what do you think? Are you not entertained? That's from the Gladiator. Are you not entertained? Now this right here is actually something interesting. It gives you the journal. I like that. Anyway, let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think of the video. I hope you found the beginning funny. And here's a new puzzle. Rearrange the paper in the proper order. It's the bomb! Do you want to see more? Let me know in the comments below. Do you want it streamed? Let me know in the comments below. This is a topic I could talk about forever. If you ever want me to do that, I'll be happy to do that in a stream or in a normal uploaded video. Let me know what you think. I'm very curious. And if you're interested in ships, let's talk about them too. I don't think it's applicable to my channel, but I can make a little exception here. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. Please follow me on Twitch. And all my social media is right here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.